differences between multiboy dynamics and finite element analysis. So I hope most of you over here uh, are familiar with finite element analysis because it's usually uh, incorporated in your uh, work course or your um, degree. But MBD is usually not included in most of the courses and people are not, have now realized the importance of MBD and they're trying to include it in their syllabus. So let's just uh, go over uh, the differences between these two. So in MBD simulations, we concentrate on the performance of the entire system. The system performance will be taken into consideration. For example, if you consider the simulation of a robotic arm, we obtain outputs such as forces, acceleration, velocities, torques in the joints, etc. Whereas in FEA, we are more focused on the structural performance of the entire system. So, and moving on to the second point, it usually takes some time for those people who are deeply involved in FEA. So say you're an FEA engineer in a particular company, then it takes some time for those people to enter into the MBD world, because even though they are so totally uh, closely related, but they're two different worlds. Uh, for instances, we have an example here, the word system. It, is, it means different for an MBD engineer, and it's, it gives a totally different meaning for an FEA engineer. So for an FEA engineer, system means a coordinate system, right? But for an MBD engineer, so system refers to reusable collection of modeling entities. So the, all the modeling entities put together, it basically forms a, a system. <laughs> and in MBD, it is basically used for abstract visualization, wherein you know, uh, there's no requirement for you to mesh. So and I was talking about uh, the point wherein you don't, you don't need to learn meshing to do MBD, whereas in FEA, you need to have a basics of even meshing. You need to learn meshing to become a C an FEA engineer. So in MBD, there's no need of meshing. It's just a stack visualization of the entire model. But in FEA, we mesh the model and go to the precise visualization. And the MBD simulations are faster when compared to the FEA results, because um, in my company now, I'm running an optimization, which has been running for like 200 hours and still it is not converged. So they can be really slow because of the extent of uh, uh, precision. So FEA results will be slower when compared to the MBD results. And uh, next, coming to the last point. So in MBD, there are, there are some instances. For example, when you come to uh, topics on the complex topics on contacts and flex bodies, where we need models to be meshed. So here, the result accuracy is independent of the mesh size. And uh, the, the course I'll be teaching here, it is, it'll be taught using the Altair's multiple dynamics software, which is motion view, motion solve. So it, which automatically meshes the model once you bring in your CAD import from any of the files. So you don't have to worry about the meshing here. And uh, here, uh, the last point what I was talking about is the result accuracy is independent of the mesh size in MBD, whereas in FEA, it is proportional to the mesh size. So these are the basic differences between uh, the MBD and FEA. So the current slide just shows the pictorial representation of MBD when compared to FEA. So MBD is faster and simple compared to FEA, which is more time consuming and uh, it's uh, difficult due to the complex complexities in the meshing. And just to make uh, things clear, I'm not trying to downsize FEA in these slides. I'm just trying to show that, uh, show the differences between those two, like both the pros and cons involved in MBD and FEA. Thank you.